James, congratulations. I suppose your second county final in about 48 hours. Yeah, um, it's getting nice to see you, Valerie, to be honest. Uh, it's usually when you win, you get the interview. So, um, just that was a lot different now to the weekend against Brough. Um, we started very bad. We talked about it at half time. Just off the pace, even though there was a win there, we were for the kickouts, there was a loose man. We were making shoot mistakes in the ball. But the second half, we just kind of hit our purple patch, got a bit of momentum. And we, when we went to point up, we just made it hard for him to come back because we knew it was very hard to score against the wind. Yeah, what was it at halftime? Um, again, like I said about the Holland last week, we lost the final last year, and you definitely in sport bring the heart from last year. We just brought it from the toes to say we, we can't lose another one. Um, we knew we weren't switched on for the first half, and there were only three points up with a strong win, so we knew we were still in with a shout. We just said to start the early, which I, I think we did, we upped the intensity a bit. Uh, we hit a couple of wides at that, but we just settled in about 10 minutes to the second half. Then I think the, I looked up the clock at one stage, there was 50 minutes left, and I think it was near enough a draw. So we 10 minutes with the win to win the game. That's what won it for us. And you obviously, when you were at the draw, did you panic at any stage saying, oh, could this culture um, No, I, I, I suppose, the, not, not panic, I suppose. you As you get old, you get better at not panicking and just staying in the zone. But when, when, we, when it was a draw, I think we hit two or three, maybe four wides there in a row, and they do kind of sap the energy out of it a bit. But we had the momentum, which helped. And, that free or that last point that Kieran Hickey got, that just when that goes in and all the momentum was in the second half, that's when we kind of knew we had it won. You mentioned obviously losing last year. Does it mean a lot more to you know this year winning? Um, ah, of course, yeah, because I, I don't know, last year's story, I got injured. We played football first, I got injured after 10 minutes and I couldn't play, really play the hurling either. Hamstring tear and it was just a bad year and uh, just what a, what, a, what a difference a year can make after winning two now. So, um, Look, it's nice to have the two of them. Uh, Talking to Frankie Carroll during the week, actually, he told me he'd done it in '96. He won the hurling of football. I, I never knew that, and it was just something that kind of drove me on a little as well, I suppose. Yeah, it's nice to win the two of them in the one year. It's a nice achievement, and after all, on Sunday, of course, it's Saturday, having that confidence going in after winning the hurling, did you? Yeah, it was interesting. It does kind of come into the mind a bit. Um, it's definitely easier to get ready for a match after a win. Um, also the panic after like if we lost three finals in two years coming into the fourth you're definitely playing with a bit of jitter so winning last week definitely brought the momentum on but still you couldn't really blame it a bit for, for our start maybe there was a little bit of tension taken off this match because we were celebrating the last one and things like that so look it has its pluses and minuses but um, in the second half I don't know there's just something about a winning team you see it in every sport when a team's on a win they're very hard to break down and you have that psychological focus to win all the time it's a great mentality to have and up to senior next year yeah up to senior in both so uh Another year uh, wiser, hopefully. Um, look, it, again, again, the, the minor team, I know they, they got beaten in the semi-final there. They're a very strong team and we've got a couple of county minors there. Two of them are playing tonight. We've got another couple coming on the team next year. So hopefully we can build on this. Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, two clubs are getting good at playing the hurling and football training and things like that. So onwards and upwards, hopefully.